Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at an amazing attacking chess combination played by none other than Mikhail Tal, who is considered as one of the greatest attacking chess players of all time. This game was played between Tal and Robert Skuja in year 1955. So let's check out this amazing combination played by Tal. Tal is playing with the white pieces and you can see that in this position, this dark square bishop is an extremely strong piece. His opponent tries a5, attacking the queen. And here, do you think Tal saved his queen? Well, this whole video is about queen sacrifice, right? So Tal played this amazing combination which started with d captures e6, grabbing this knight. And after a captures b4, Tal plays rook captures d7, attacking the enemy king, uh, queen. Queen to c3, attacking this rook, and it comes with a check. However, before saving the rook, Tal grabs more material. He captures f7 check. King moves to f8. And now, Tal grabs the rook, promoting the queen. After king captures e8, we have rook a to d1. Now, these two rooks are connected, and they are extremely strong in this position. You can see that both the dark square bishops are hanging at this point in time. His opponent tries bishop to f6 and Tal plays bishop to c1, saving his own bishop. After rook captures a2, we have knight to g5. And now there's a threat of forking the um, queen and the bishop. His opponent plays bishop to c2 and now knight to e4 anyways. Bishop to e7, saving this bishop, and Tal plays amazing sacrifice once again. Rook captures e7, check. And after king captures e7, we have bishop to g5, check. King to f8, you can see that this king is all naked right now. And Tal attacks the king with three pieces. Rook to d8, check. King goes to g7. Rook to d7, check. King goes to h8. Now h4, Tal creates some breathing space for his own king. After rook to a1 check, king moves to h2 and his opponent offers an exchange of the rook. However, Tal plays knight to d6. Here, his opponent made a mistake by grabbing this pawn. Queen, to f queen captures f2. Tal plays knight to f7 check opening up a discovery and now you can see that this rook is not protected by the queen anymore and after king moves to g7 we have bishop to h6 check first king moves to f6 and now tal grabs the rook rook captures d1 we have b3 trying to promote his pass pawn however now you can see that the king and the queen are on the same file and we can easily skewer the rook uh, sorry skewer the king and the queen using the rook this is exactly what tal plays rook to f1 check queen captures f1 and after bishop captures f1 tal is up too much material here we have uh, e4 and now bishop to c4 protecting this um, knight and also attacking this pawn and after b2 we have bishop to a2 Guarding the queening square, uh, his opponent promotes anyways, and we have bishop to g5 check first before capturing this queen. King moves to g7, and now bishop captures b1. And it was in this position that his opponent resigned. So an amazing example of queen sacrifice by the master of attack, Mikhail Tal. Thank you very much for watching this video.